Hi guys, I had a question on how to set the mouthpiece with the rolled-in embouchure. A few of my students were starting to work with the rolled-in embouchure, but they couldn't figure out how to get the mouthpiece on comfortably, especially without being cramped, per se. Well, the way I like to do it is when you form the rolled-in embouchure, is start with the mouthpiece on the top lip and then come down. So the mouthpiece will be at this kind of an angle and then come down on the lips. So I kind of almost anchor it on the top lip and then just bring it down into place. So it looks like this. Now I exaggerated it a little bit so you can see it, but it's really very subtle. And that's what I do. So I can set my embouchure for the rolled in to protect my lips. And then I anchor the top and then just set it down. But that's based on my dental structure. And most of my students can do that. But I do have a couple that will do it the opposite way. Well, they'll roll in and then anchor on the bottom and then come up. And we find by doing this, whether either anchoring at the top or bottom, that you give it a direction or a bias, if you will, rather than coming in straight. Because if you come in just straight, sometimes you might get off center with it or you might not get your armature in there comfortably. This way we find is very, very consistent and easy to work with. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. All right, thanks, guys.